Hi, good morning. I hope you're doing well. I have gotten to the point in my life where I have literally no food in my fridge. So let's remedy that. <laughs> I'm in my very cute little PJ moment. Full face of makeup. I'm like, I just woke up and I'm so hungry. Here's my sweet fridge that I love so much. Barely anything in it. Those are Christie's charcuterie board stuff. Those are my eggs, those are Christie's eggs. And then Christie has some bread and salsa. There's the mayo I made. I have some chocolate almonds. I have some milk. I've got a little bit of wine. I have barely any meat or cheese. I have barely any produce. Don't really have much up here. And in the freezer, I just have some fruit for smoothies. That's Christie's drawer. Here's mine, there's some stuff, but I'm kind of bored of it. So we can't have that because I am a hungry ass bitch. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys how I restock my fridge when I'm this low on groceries and like the things that I know I have to get, sort of planning out what I wanna eat that week and stuff like that. So please come along if you're interested in a little fridge restock. As you could tell, I'm somebody who will not, for the life of me, take two trips to go all the way back down to my car and get everything I need. It's one or nothing, my friends. Truly, no matter how many groceries I have, I've brought up more than this, but let's move on. So the first thing that I like to make sure that I have is just some fun little drinky poos. Spindrift is absolutely like one of my favorite ones to have on hand. Like LaCroix and stuff is delicious and I love it so much, but Spindrift has just like a little bit of natural juice and flavoring in it that you can like actually see and really, really taste. I love this. One of my favorite flavors is the raspberry lime. The mango orange is also, all their flavors are great actually. If you didn't know, a little trick. Open it on both ends so that both of these sides are open and then you put it in the fridge and they're all right there for you. Just a little tip for you. I also got these yummy sparkling lemonades. I'll put two of these in here right now. And I got these sparkling green teas. I got these both from Trader Joe's. So now I've got some fun little drinks ready. I will put the extras of these over in my one thing of storage. So these are just some cute little um, ice cream sandwiches that I've been wanting to try and I never have, so I finally got them. And then I also love uh, Celsius before I work out. The Peach Vibe Celsius is like one of my favorite things ever. And I've begged them to sponsor me a hundred times. They haven't, but that doesn't stop me from loving them. So I'll just keep that in my little drink corner. Trader Joe's also had a new rosé that looked really cute. So I'm gonna throw this in the fridge so I can have it later with dinner, which maybe you guys will come hang out with me during dinner. I got a baguette because I want to make bruschetta tonight and then I want to make a steak sandwich tomorrow. When I'm shopping, I don't usually have a list unless there's very specific things I need to get, but I try to think about like, what sounds good to have in the house this week? What do I think I'll want for lunch the next couple days? Same for dinner, same for breakfast. And I saw this sandwich on TikTok from this guy. Looks so fucking good. So I got steak so that I can actually have some of the steak tonight for dinner. I also got some chicken. And then also in terms of carbs, I got this flatbread from Trader Joe's that I adore. Sometimes if I'm like starving, I'll just heat some of this up with like a little bit of hummus and it's like a perfect snack. So I try to keep stuff like this on hand too, just like quick lunches. In terms of produce, I make a lot of smoothies where after I work out, I love to just put as much green in them as I can because I know that I'm not the best about getting my vegetables in. So I try to shove them all in where I can't see or taste them. Uh, and then this is a salad kit that I love from Trader Joe's. I got some tomatoes for the bruschetta I wanna make. I got meat and cheese to have on hand for sandwiches or just to snack on if I don't feel like doing a whole thing, I'll usually just have like some salami cheese and some fruit. And I got my mozzarella for my bruschetta. You guys can see I'm very clearly excited for dinner. And then just so I can have like a little snick snack because I, I'm i somebody who definitely gets a lot of cravings. I'm like, oh, I want something salty and crunchy right now. Oh, I want something sweet right now. It's a very tricky balance because I want to have stuff in the house so that when I get those cravings, I can just have like a little bit and I'm done. Then I'm satiated, I'm satisfied. But if I don't have it in the house because I'm like, oh, I don't need that many chips in the house right now, whatever. Then I'll just like eat and eat and eat and eat until I get the feeling like I got what I wanted, but I never do. So I just got uh, some chips and salsa to have. Who doesn't love chips and salsa? I also just got some little baby yogurts also as a snack or a breakfast if I don't feel like doing a whole thing. Um, 
Um. Please say you saw that. I'm amazing. Also, there was a lady at Trader Joe's who I was in the refrigerated section getting those yogurts. And this lady was like, aren't you cold? Cause I was in that little dress. And I was like, no, I run pretty hot. It takes a lot for me to get cold. She's like, oh, I run cold. And I was like, I hear you mama. She was like, guess how old I am. And I was like, oh, we're doing this. I mean, she looked great. I was like, I don't know, maybe 60. And she was like, I'm 80. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, yes. And I was like, Fantastic. I go, you look great. She goes, I know. And I was like, I love you. <laughs> she was a peach. I got an onion and a shallot. I have a ton of garlic. That's one of the things I always, always, always like pick up way too much of. I'm like, I think I need garlic. Never do. But I have an onion and a shallot that I got because I think I want to make penne a la vodka on Dead Dad's Kitchen this week. And I extra think I want to make the pasta myself. So we'll see how that goes. I got a couple avocados because I'll probably make spring rolls at some point soon or avocado toast. I didn't catch that one. So now I'm back to square one. And then just to have some fresh fruit on hand as well, I got a couple of mangoes that I can cut up. If you guys don't know how to cut a mango properly, I have a video where I show you how to do that right there. Okay, so that's like the grocery haul and sort of like what I think of that I need. You should always have a carb on hand. You should always have some protein. You should always have some fresh veggies, fresh fruit, dairy if you eat dairy, little things to snack on. So I just try to get like a very good base for the week and then as I need other stuff or if I'm filming a certain video or if I'm doing something special, then I'll just go back to the store and get that specific thing. But I know that I will eat all of this. So it's nice to just have it on hand and have it be done. Let's go make dinner. It's well, it's 1.15, but I'll see you guys in a little while when we make dinner. So now it's time to put all of that food that we bought to work because I'm hungry and thirsty. Oh my gosh, look at this fucking cool ass bottle of rose. It's got like a pretty shape. It feels like a potion and it is. <laughs> oh, it's just a little baby glass, but that's okay. Ah, see? I feel like we haven't done a vlog in a minute. This is kind of fun. I don't know if I want like steak with a side of bruschetta or if I want steaky bruschetta. So, <laughs> so I'm just patting this steak dry and we'll let it come to room temperature for a little bit. And I heard when you're cooking steak, you're not actually supposed to put the pepper on because the pepper will burn. So you just season it with salt right away. Now we're gonna wash our hands, of course. Time to slice our bread. You guys have been so good about leaving things in the comments that I ask you to leave in the comments. So let's keep that energy. What was the best thing you had to eat this week? So I didn't have time and also I didn't want to like heat up my whole house. So I'm not going to roast the garlic for my bruschetta like I do in my like full on recipe. And I'm okay with that as long as you are. How many tomatoes should I use? Are you guys watching Bachelor in Paradise? Because I'm normally just a Bachelor Bachelorette queen, but I'm watching Paradise this time around. And boy, oh boy, is it the most dramatic season I've ever seen. David Spade is the host. And I think it was truly like perfect casting. He's so funny and cute. And like, he brings a lot of like joy to the show and a lot of like silliness that I think is much needed. Granted, I've only seen the first episode, but... It's rad. Let's do a clove of garlic. Just one because it's fresh, so it's gonna be super, super spicy and powerful. I think we're shaping up to have a nice little dinner. We'll do a glug of olive oil, a little bit of that white balsamic that I like, bingo bango. Name something that smells better than fresh basil. You can't. Gonna start my steak first. Uh, we're just gonna butter baste it. You don't really wanna do much with extra virgin olive oil in a situation like this. And if your oil burns, then the steak will be gross. And then while our steak is resting, we'll do the bruschetta so that it's still sexy and melty and fun when our steak is like perfect. I know how to plan a menu. <laughs> oh my God, I love mozzarella so much. Some things are just perfect. And what a treat that we get to enjoy them in this life. Okay, my oil's starting to dimple. I also have some nice butter here that I'm ready to baste it with. A couple tablespoons, nice little pat. Okay, great. So we'll just let that sear on one side for a second and then we'll flip it. We'll add our butter, which we'll then baste it with. So now I'll add a little pepper. Oh, I'm supposed to do that after. <laughs> 
I'm scared I got meat juice on this, so let me wash this very quickly. Crusty. Oh yeah. If you guys want a full steak video, I can do that too. I just feel like there's a lot of creators who are like so good at that kind of stuff and I'm sort of just like, I like steak. <laughs> but if you're interested, I would love to show you. First, cheers. Wow, that's good. I'm gonna take my butter and I'm also going to take three cloves of garlic and put those in there as well. I'm gonna turn this on, it's gonna be loud so I'll probably speed through this. Okay, so that's our butter basted steak. So while our steak is resting, we're gonna get our prosciutto ready. I hope you guys like this kind of video. It's like very chill vibes. Mama's just like, it's Sunday, you know? Do I wanna do olive oil or butter? Let's do olive oil. If this is the motivation you needed to make yourself dinner tonight, I hope that you're getting it. So all of our little breadies are getting toasted up. There we go. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we've got dinner. I've got a little piece of steak. If you don't like your steak rare, sorry. That's fucking delicious. Holy fuck, that's delicious. I'm gonna go eat this and rewatch the client list for the eighth time. I love you guys and I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you next week. Let me know if you like videos like this and we can do some more.